Today on another episode of the 4-Minute Power Tip, I'm going to explain to you how the overlapping and underlapping runs work in the game of Football Manager. A look for overlap instruction simply tells somebody to look for a run that's happening on his outside. Um, and a underlap instruction tells a player who's the widest player to hold on to the ball and look for a run that's happening on the inside. To understand how these overlapping and underlapping runs actually work, we have to understand one thing. The overlap instruction increases mentality. It will always do this to any role that's given the overlap instruction. Now, in the game, it might not be immediately clear because this is actually a scale between 0 to 20, but they've only got five descriptors here, so you don't get the full picture. Whenever you apply the underlap, his mentality will go up from balance. Now, it goes up to... Positive, not positive, there is a range for positive as well. Which range it is, we don't know, but it definitely affects his initial positioning because whenever you apply the overlap or the underlap instruction, his starting position will always be slightly higher. The overlap and the underlap instruction also increases the forward runs of these players. Now, some roles, you might be thinking, they don't do any forward runs because, you know, he's a defend duty. The thing about football manager is, when there's space, they run. So you can apply this instruction, overlap and underlap to any kind of a tactic. It can be a 4-4-2 diamond. It can be narrow like this without any um, side midfielders. It just means that his starting position is just higher. His mentality is higher, which means that he's likely to take a bit more risk. If you go into the game of Football Manager and you go to any one of the presets, uh, especially the vertical tiki taka ones, you will find that these vertical tiki taka systems come with underlap instructions already embedded. What does this mean? The widest play in this case might be the inside forward. He's going to hold up the ball, looking for inside runs. This can come from the mazala. It can happen from the inverted wing back. Now, remember, it's always going to be the widest player who holds on to the ball, looking for an inside run if it's an underlap. If it's an overlap, then it'll be the widest player looking for an outside run. So in this particular case, the inside forward could end up holding up onto the ball because his mentality will now be reduced to accommodate any outside run made by another role. Some roles may not make those kind of runs, like the inverted wing back. He's hard-coded to remain in the center. So it's always a good idea for you to make sure that some of these roles are naturally good and making overlap and underlapping runs these include the fullback and the wingback even the wingback on defense will sometimes make runs into the area if there is no threat this role has a priority to defend and he might make those kind of runs if he needs to so the overlap and the underlap instruction basically affect mentality they affect the starting position of the fullback or the wingback and they affect his forward runs they also reduce the runs of the guys in front to accommodate uh, somebody that might be overlapping or underlapping behind them. Now, it's important to remember this instruction can be used in systems which may not have any wingers, but in which case it only affects the mentality and the starting position of the player who's going to be impacted by the overlapping and the underlapping run. I hope you found today's show useful and if you have any more questions on the Game Football Manager, leave me a note below and I'll try and help you out. Meanwhile, stay safe, take care of yourselves. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.